This is a birdie chance here for Luke Donald here, Roger. Yeah, great position off the tee here. 128 left to the hole. Maybe he can get it close. It's hit very high and on a good line. Yeah! Just on the edge. Well, following the golf, we're set for a big Notre Dame Saturday, and while he gets ready for that, we join Jimmy Roberts in our studio in New York, who also has more on the great ongoing story here in the East Lake community. Jimmy. Dan, you're right. You know, hard to believe, but East Lake, as we know it today, is 10 years old. Maybe the most remarkable thing, though, about what's going on at East Lake isn't necessarily going on at East Lake. This is what we see here now. Amazing when you consider. It seems like yesterday East Lake was something else entirely. Not only a concept to fix the unfixable, but a solitary one. But as crime, which had been 18 times the national average, all but evaporated, and children climbed relentlessly through the new charter school's curriculum. Our fifth grade is the first year only 5% could pass the state math test. This year, 99% of the fifth graders passed it. As the mixed income housing helped bootstrap up those who had been down for so long, an odd thing happened at Eastlake. This solitary initiative had once transformed a neighborhood. Now, the initiative itself was transformed from the solution to a solitary problem to a shining model for others. It's my hope that this gets done in every city in America. And I think the more America understands this, it will happen. I mean, I don't know how anybody could come here and see the results, know what it was before, and see the results. I don't know how they could keep from going home and trying to make it happen there. When Cousins first went on the broadcast of this tournament three years ago and invited representatives from any city with an East Lake like problem, to call him for help, the response was overwhelming. More than 100 municipalities responded. So did the financier Warren Buffett and the philanthropist Julian Robertson. They wanted to help. And so, purpose-built communities was started to help foster the redevelopment of blighted neighborhoods wherever they might be. The idea was to use the holistic community revitalization model that works so stunningly here at Eastlake. So far, work in eight different American cities is in various stages of development. The New Orleans Initiative, where the president recently visited, sits on the site of a former housing project which five years ago was under 15 feet of water. It is Eastlake being duplicated and if anything improved. A decade ago, a seed was planted here at Eastlake. It flowered beautifully and now has given seed to new hope elsewhere as well. You know, to Tom Cousins, this isn't only a human issue, it's a practical one. Crime decay society, but it's expensive too. A person incarcerated in Georgia costs the state $40,000 a year. You do the math on what that means. If you want to hear more about East Lake, we invite you to go to NBCSports.com backslash golf for more of my conversation with Tom Cousins, who hates to hear it, Dan, but he is one amazing man. Yeah, you talk with him. He talks with such a passion about this cause, and I think the, one of the most remarkable things about it is he's always trying to improve it. So with the help of Warren Buffett, Julian Robertson, you talk about a power threesome. Mm -hmm. Those guys have taken it on and taken it to greater heights. Out to the eighth and the third for Jim Furyk. It just moves a little right, the last part, and that looks pretty darn good. But the par streak continues.